Hi guys, hope you're doing splendid. Uh, I've reacted to Lara and Lara Fabian and Johnny Holiday, and this is the first time I actually discovered Johnny Holiday. And as I know now, he is a very, very prominent and famous singer in France. Uh, it's like sort of like the god of rock and roll, rock and roll, or rock. I think rock and roll. Yes, but he's uh, after reading about him on various resources, internet resources, of course. <laughs> I've discovered that he is uh, he is not a very simple person, and his career was <laughs> his career was very, of course, extensive and not very, you know, not very onset forward. He also reflected and interpolated and found himself, found new uh, niches, found new uh, genres, found new approaches to music and what he wants to say in that particular point of time. And this is uh, a song which is called The Penitentiary, La Penitence, Le, La, excuse me, I have to look. And I read about the song. It was a song originally sung by an American band. It's like a cover, but revamped cover, a new cover. The English version deals with the girl who finds herself in a very bad situation and she has to sell her body to just survive. But they redid the song and decided to talk about the prison and the sentence and Johnny Halliday himself said that if not for the song, he would not be able to be here today. Understand it as you may. It's a very powerful song, and uh, I understand this is a song that marks a very distinct steer away from his current image. In here, he's a rebel already, and you know, it's a it's a different, I want to say direction, but I'm sick of saying direction. It's a different mm, path that his mu music undertook to, in order for him to evolve as an artist and generate and create new music. Of course, with his team and writers, not everything was done by one person. We understand that. So, the penitentiary. La penitentiaire? Mm. Sounds about right. <laughs>
écoutez-moi, ne laissez jamais vos garçons. Garçon. Merci you, merci merci you, merci pour vous, I guess. Oh, oh my gosh, she's so charismatic. But the other, the other man, Florent, oh my, uh, he played no smaller part in this, did he? Did he? Um, like that, I did not understand that was a duo up to this moment, but that is Johnny's song, as I understand. Oh my, and when he's like, the da 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 da, I mean, <laughs> I cannot do that. <laughs> it's so manly, it's so, I mean, I cannot, I cannot, I can. <laughs> I can ima I can't imagine it being good for your voice, but it gives such a powerful wave of emotion towards the listener. Huh. <laughs> I'm not sure about the guy Florent. I'm not sure what he is, uh, what kind of performer he is, and I did not do my research on him again because I did not understand that avec means with, like featuring. Florent. <laughs> At the first listen, I thought it's a compilation of Johnny's different looks because, you know, I'm not still very familiar with Johnny's uh, physique that much and his facial features to not distinguish him right away that, okay, this is not just him with a haircut, like a very, very short haircut. <laughs> yeah, but this is a different guy. This was a whole performance, which was great. Thank you so much for telling me this. And of course, if you want to see me more, see more of me <laughs> reacting to new passages in our talent lives, please tell me to what to do. You want to react, and that way I can see you in the next video. Bye.